Hi, this is Derek Marr, and this is my Music 158A final project for Fall 2016. <clears throat> Basically, the summary of my project is I created a virtual reality application from scratch that acts as an interface to play sounds uh, by communicating with Max. Um, so yeah, this is something I'm actually really proud of because it's my first time dealing with virtual reality, and um, I actually accomplished what I set off to do. Um, here you can see the Max app, right here, um, and as we saw here is the Unity Virtual Reality application. I'm not going to play it in the actual like Google Cardboard or something, even though it looks a lot more amazing there, because it's really hard to record, obviously. So we'll just see it here in the Unity interface. So here's the Virtual Reality application, uh, we're inside the game now, and uh, the first thing to notice is there's a lot of things happening. There's dropping cubes, there's a lot of interesting interactions. So let's go ahead and talk about the cubes first. The cubes basically represent an instrument in the 808 directory file. And whenever you hit it, uh, it starts to play. So let's go ahead and hit it with the basketball here. You can hear the snare drum is starting to play now. Let's do a cowbell. Oh, okay, we missed the cowbell. Uh, let's try conga. Okay, I missed that too. As you can see, sometimes it's kind of hard to hit the actual instruments. Here I hit another kick drum, so it's already been played twice. Let's do a hand clap. Cool. Let's do one more. Cool. If you turn around, you can see there's these two here. Um, the two spheres in the right increase the entire phase or decrease it. So let's make the phase faster. Nice. Slower. Alright, cool. Now let's reset it. So in general, what, what is happening here, right? You can see that, um, well actually I reset it, so you, you won't see the actual o.bundle again with the data, but essentially what's happening is we have these scripts here, uh, specifically this global scorekeeper that sends a bunch of requests using Unity OSC to Max. Um, let me just hit another instrument to show you what exactly is happening. Um, if I hit this here, you see it's starting to play again. Now if I go back to the Max app, you see uh, we're sending over duration, which can be changed when you hit those spheres. We're also sending over, um, uh, right now let's just talk about these sequence stamps Y and sequence stamps X. Basically the instrument index that we want to play. So for example, if I hit another instrument, let's hit a hand clap, you'll see that it appends to an array six here, which is the index of the corresponding to the hand clap. Okay, cool. Now let's explain what these baskets do here. These baskets basically increase the probability for the subphase of a particular instrument that you hit um, how many times to play. So for example, if I hit, if I make a basket in medium here, It's going to increase the probability of the hag clap being played twice uh, by a certain amount. In this case, uh, 50% because it's the first basket that we made. So you can see it being played twice, right? Cool. Let's make it get played four times by making a basket in super high. As you can see, it's not, it's not easy to hit a basket, but that's what makes it fun. <laughs> cool. You see? Now, sometimes it gets played four times. How this is happening is if we look at the weights, 
whenever we make a basket, we increase the corresponding index of the, the probability distribution by 1. In this case, we're looking at the last index here, which plays it four times. And you can see the probability of it happening based on what we discussed in class is going to be 40%, right? 2 out of 5 because that's the sum of the entire array. Cool. Now let's just play around a little more with the application. Let's add a maraca here. Let's add a snare. Or, it's not a snare, but let's add a cowbell. We got one of these stuck here, these cues. Kick drum. Okay. Let's add some variation to the current instru instrument by playing it three times. Add a hmm. Let's add a snare drum. You can hit it. <laughs> Add a loop. Sorry, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to hit these things, but that's what actually makes it fun. Alright. to explain how to play this game. Uh, thank you for listening.